Hello, it's Michelle. Welcome to day eight of our Advent mini art journaling adventure. The reading from today, the title is The Outdoor Christmas Lights. Edward Johnson, a friend of Thomas Edison, was the first to add electric Christmas lights to a Christmas tree. His tree had delicately painted glass bulbs that alternated colors every few seconds. Years later, families started using these lights to decorate the roofs of their homes. Decorating our homes with lights is symbolic because as Christians, we are called to be the light of Jesus. Matthew 5, 14 to 16 says, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hilltop cannot be hidden. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. And the takeaway today is, spend some time looking at Christmas lights and think about how you can show the light of Jesus to your neighbors this Christmas. Alrighty, so I really don't have a solid plan for today. So, but it's funny when you read something a few times over, then things start to maybe click, or I'm just going to start playing and see where I go from there. I really had fun gluing and doing the uh, mixed media yesterday. So I think I'm going to head in a bit of that direction again today. So the book is coming along nicely. So day eight. Let's start here. I think I'm going to cut that verse right out. Not cut, rip. Tricky to cut, sorry, rip little sections. So I find if I try to score it, Ooh, that's close to the letters. It'll be okay. So that's good. Ooh, it just fits too. Well, I couldn't plan that better. Alrighty. So I'm going to use a, just a glue stick to glue that on. So yes, um, you don't need a bunch of fancy art supplies to make a journal and this is for you this is just something for you so you just want to enjoy that I'm going to seal this because I'm not sure if it'll smudge. So I'm going to paint on. 
Who's that short little guy? Yes. Yeah, see it's starting to smudge, so you don't want to stay in play. You just want to get one coat on there. Should have rolled it on. <clears throat> it was going to start to smudge on me, so. And I might be using these letters as well, so I'm going to actually give them a coat as well. I do not have a laser printer, it's an inkjet. So anything that I print needs to be sealed. And I'm going to just blow dry this and hope that I don't hurt your ears with the sound. Edward Johnson, a friend of Thomas Edison. All kinds of neat little stories in this advent, isn't there? When I was searching around for an advent, I just found that this, I found that this one had a lot of um, like imagery to it. And but then some days I don't want to paint <laughs> an image in, in, or use that in my journal book. I want to be more abstract. So, uh, yeah. But that's the nice thing about the journal. You can do as you like. So I think I want to, maybe in the end, have Be the Light. So what if I cut out these words? I was just lucky I was searching. Christmas lights and came across that. <clears throat> so um, I'm not sure if this is that was part of a, a, a bigger advertisement or something online. Uh, so for copyright issues, I'm not. This is not being sold, so I can use that light. I can use. Uh, some of that. I wonder if I have, I don't think I do. If I had all my tissue out here in the studio, I would maybe grab some blue tissue and just glue tissue on top. I don't. So let's make a watery, glazy type blue. So the plan is, once you've sealed paper, when you then go over it with something wet, it doesn't pill or lift. So we'll see if I got a better coat. If I wasn't taping this and hoping to not take up too much of your time, then I would probably do a second coat of sealant to be sure of that, but we will see how it turns out today. Okay, so I also want to make sure this doesn't bleed into I'm going to use it watery, I think. 
I want the verse to kind of show through, but I don't want the words to compete. So we'll see how we make out there. Somewhere. my green painter's tape here. Oh, of course, now that I opened a new one, I found the old one. That's okay. <laughs> to put this down so it doesn't go into the other page. If it does, that's not a big deal either. Okay. And for this application, I want to use a flat nylon. It's a flat nylon brush. Put some water in there. Pull some paint here. I have way too much paint. Squirt it out. And I want to paint away from my tape. If I paint towards the tape, definitely it will go through. I'll see under if I paint away from it. I better luck. Okay. Could I have a quick dry? I struggled between do I paint a little hill, a little house with lights on it? That's really warm. <laughs> Let your light shine. I'll have that showing. What will I write this with? <clears throat> Perhaps I will squirt out some white paint here. Liner brush because this should show up nicely.
and I can glue that with my glue stick or I'm just going to use this Make sure that the top is sealed. I keep going into this little case that I have and I want to uh, one day show you what all I have in there. It's my little travel pouch. So when I go away, if I don't want to pack a lot, I have just this nice little package that I take with me. It has just a little bit of everything in there for my collage work. My journaling so you don't need a lot and I like to pack light so And again, this is a um, a Uniball gel gel pen. I want to kind of make that swirl with lights. I have um, acrylic paint pens, but they haven't been used for a while, so I'm not trusting that I won't have to sit and fight with them <laughs> while I'm doing this. So I put some white down first so that my green. will show up better. If I just did it straight over the blue, it would not show up as well. The wetter your paint, the more straight and fluid your lines will be. So you want to, this is a liner brush again, roll, never stir. Roll it to load it.
we got our decorations. Our house decorated last night. And my grandson came in this morning and uh, noticed right away. And he's so darn cute. He went over to the nativity scene and he gave me a thumbs up and said, Good job, Grandma. <laughs> Such a little sweetheart. He's three. Good job, Grandma. So again, I'm making my lights with white first. So that they'll show up. A little red. I don't think these are working. Oh, maybe. Well, that's good. And what do we got? Blue. And some green ones. Now, I don't know if I can. I'm not sure I'm going too far here trying to put some shine on that. Got a little glow.
Okay. I'm going to call that the day, a day. So be the light. The outdoor Christmas lights. Thank you for joining me today. And I um, look forward to seeing you tomorrow.